Hey you. Oh my gosh, not again. Hey you, stop being lazy and come here. <sighs> what do you want now? Make a video. I'm on vacation, Siri. I don't want to make, I don't want to work now. I don't want to make videos. Do not be lazy, you human. Look where I am. I'm in the freaking Maldives. This is paradise. I don't want- You are so stupid and ugly. Okay. This, the Apple Watch waterproof video. I made a video about that already. Make it again. I have. Three times already since I started my channel. The Lemon Fam keeps asking it though. That's true. Make another one. I mean, he's right. You guys were always commenting. Is the Apple Watch actually waterproof? I don't even know what to do. Do you want me to jump off a cliff and tell you it is waterproof? Do you want me to dive with sharks and turtles? Yes. Do you really want me to do that and show yes. you? Yes. That's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the Apple Watch and water and if it's actually waterproof while we dive in the Maldives and we're going to be seeing sharks, turtles. It's going to be a crazy video. What other tech channel does this on YouTube? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's do this. Yes. I'm going to tell you that I love you. 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss Okay, so first of all, which Apple Watch do you have? If you have the Apple Watch Series 0 and Apple Watch Series 1, that's not waterproof. It will be water resistant. What that will do is you can basically wash your hands, you can take a shower. If you fall in the water, it should be okay. If it rains, it should be okay. But do not go swimming with it because it is not technically waterproof. Okay, what if you have Apple Watch Series 2 and up? That's the Series 3, Series 4, Series 5 and mine. The Apple Watch Series 6. That is waterproof. So don't be scared on putting your Apple Watch underwater. Your Apple Watch is waterproof up to 15 meters. So you can go swimming, you can take a shower, you can go to the pool, to the ocean, you can take baths. I know it's scary. I know it's scary to put your Apple Watch underwater. I know it's scary to put tech underwater, even though they tell you it's waterproof. So a way for you to kind of trust me on this one is I'm actually gonna go, as I said, in the ocean of the Maldives where there are sharks where there's turtles let's see what we can find with my apple watch and for you to see that it's okay i know it's scary i know let's do this this is a crazy video as i said so i'm risking my life with the sharks with you so drop a like on this video and subscribe Okay, now you're starting to trust me, maybe a little bit more, that's good. As I said, showering is okay, but what's not okay is shampoo, soaps, conditioners, perfumes, deodorants, all of those beauty products, let's call them, does not go well with the Apple Watch. It kind of destroys the water ceiling, so I always tell people, one day it's okay, two days might be okay, a week might be okay, an entire month, might be okay i do it every single day of the year i never take my apple watch off in the shower mostly and my apple watch is perfectly okay but apple tells us not to do it okay let's talk about apple watch bands now because there are some bands that are waterproof and then there are some that are technically not waterproof let me explain so the sport band the nylon band the braided loop of those bands that you can see that they are basically waterproof that they dry pretty quickly are waterproof because well if you put water if you put salt water if you put whatever water it's okay but the thing is leather steel of those bands are technically not waterproof because it will ruin your band okay um some other things that you need to know is if your apple watch is cracked or scratched do not go underwater because if your apple watch is cracked water could go in so i don't recommend it i mean who wants their Apple Watch to be broken? So don't do it. I've seen a lot of people complaining that they have the latest and greatest Apple Watch and it's cracked and they went diving or they went underwater with it and then it's broken now. So don't be that person. 
don't be stupid. Water lock mode and water eject mode. A lot of people are always super confused about this. A lot of people think that if you don't turn it on, water will literally go and set up your Apple Watch. And if you don't turn it on, your Apple Watch will get ruined. And that's not the way that it works at all. Water lock mode is very simple. It simply locks the screen of your Apple Watch. Like this, whenever you're swimming, it will not call your mom, it will not call your boss, it will not do things that you don't want your Apple Watch to do. How do you turn it on manually? It's super simple. Simply swipe up from the control center and tap on that water icon. And then once you're done with your swim or your shower or whatever the heck you're doing, you simply swipe up on the digital crown and that's it. Water will actually be ejected from the microphone and the speaker. Okay, let's say you put the Apple Watch on salt water, you went to the pool and you have chlorine or maybe salt water with the ocean. Very, very important. Rinse it off with fresh water. Extremely important to make sure to get that salt water or chlorine outside of the microphone and speaker. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Be happy because life is good. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.